this Phillies team is a joke. <laughs> you you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Did they just get swept by the Orioles? I mean, really. Did we just get swept by the Baltimore Orioles? 3 nothing. Losing what 11 to 4 yesterday? This team stinks. The pitching is awful. I mean, Connor Connor Brogdon comes in yesterday. First ever start. Or first ever relief. Goes yard on his first play. Like you got to be you got to be kidding me with that. The Phillies stink. They play tonight in a series against the Mets. Do I expect us to win this series? Not a chance. Even with DeGrom being out tonight, I don't know if there's a chance that the Phillies win. They are that bad of a baseball team. Until the bullpen is fixed, is, is fixed this team will never win anything. I mean, it's gotten to the point where JT and Bryce are the only, like, they are combined, if you combine their stats, 43% of the RBIs is those two. 43% of the RBIs have come from JT Ruimuto and Bryce Harper. Now, that's great. I want my superstars to be great. I want that. But it comes to a certain point. Because, honestly, it's embarrassing. Like The bullpen is just abysmal. The bullpen is so bad. It's not even laughable. Like, I was laughing a couple days ago in my Phillies video when they lost to the Orioles and extras because Gene Segura and uh, Roman Quinn can't field. But that's one thing. But it's just bad. I mean, why is Austin Davis on this team? Why is Why do we really still have the bullpen that we've had when we were tanking on purpose? I mean, honestly, we were tanking on purpose or we just stunk straight out. And we still have some of the same bullpen guys. You would think we would get a little bit better, but we haven't. We haven't gotten better. The bullpen is still garbage. We still don't win games. The Phillies, I, I said it in my video the other day. I said that the Phillies have a chance to make the playoffs. I think those chances are gone because of this bullpen. I do not think the Phillies make this playoff make the playoffs because the bullpen, because of Reese, because of Kingery, because of everybody not named JT Real Muto and Bryce Harper and Aaron Nola and Zach Wheeler. That's why. Because all four of those guys are doing their jobs. Aaron Nola. Even though he's he has a loss on the season, he's still doing his job. Zach Wheeler, still doing his job. Those guys are doing their part. But why is it that nobody else can get a hit? Why is it that nobody else? I'll even put DD and you know guys like Phil Goslin up there. Because what they DD is on a new team. He's in Philadelphia now. He's not playing with any fans. He is everybody has a new uh, the manager and Girardi, obviously. But it, it's just embarrassing. I mean, watching this team play night in and night out. It's honestly embarrassing. It, it seriously is. And I don't know what it's going to take to fix it because I don't see us fixing this bullpen anytime soon because they are that bad. This bullpen is awful. And I'm out here on vacation screaming because the bullpen stinks. I mean, there's a Phillies game tonight against the Mets, as I already stated. Spencer Howard's going tonight. He has like a 771 ERA. But what happens? What happens when he gets taken out? Because I know for a fact he's not staying in this whole game. I don't care that Jeff McNeil's out and Cespedes uh, opted out. And I don't care that the Mets are still, you know, not the greatest team. But they're a solid team this year. They're not doing awful. The Phillies, though, they stink. The Phillies stink. And I don't, I don't know what it's going to take to really get this team going. But I have one request for the Phillies this year, and that is to fire Matt Klintak. He needs to get out of this city. He does. He's as, he's as bad as Brett Brown with general managing as Brett Brown is as, as a coach. It, it's that simple. He can't do it. 
What is spending John Middleton's money doing if you're not putting the pieces you need to win together? He's not. He is not doing anything. It, it's just Matt. It, what did he do with that Bryce Harper deal? Somebody tell me. Because it was all Middleton. That's why you can't tell me. Matt Klintek is not good. He needs to get out. Brett Brown needs to get out. And then we can talk about maybe a potential Philadelphia Phillies slash 76ers championship run. But until those two are out of this city, that is not happening. I can promise you that. Look what the Flyers did. Look what the Eagles did. They completely revamped their organization. Look at the Flyers. Chuck Fletcher and Elaine Video come in. New coach, new general manager. What? Where are they at right now? Are they in the something called the playoffs? Are they the number one seed? You know, this is this is the stuff that I expect from the Sixers to be the number one seed, to run the East, to run through good teams. But they're the, the they're the exact opposite. They still stink. It, it's been years since the Sixers have legitimately be, been good. We still haven't gotten out of the second round. We now don't have Ben Simmons in a series against the Celtics coming up, which will be a video on Sunday, maybe Monday, about that, how I think this whole series is going to go. Because I can tell you one thing. I'm smelling a broom, and I think Boston owns it. But this team, they play tonight against the Mets. Spencer Howard on the hill for the Phils. I don't really know who's on the bump for the Mets. We'll see how things go. The bullpen stinks. Kangaroo stinks. Reese Hoskins stinks. Matt Klintek stinks. The Phillies bother me. They really do. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And comment down below if you agree with me. If you think Matt Klintek should be out of the city, hit that like button. And make sure to smash that like button or subscribe button because we are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. So with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.